Ready to start using your HomePod? Let's get you set up. To kick things off, make sure your iOS device is running 11.2.5 or later. Turn on Bluetooth, connect to Wi-Fi, and make sure you have iCloud Keychain enabled. To learn more about iCloud Keychain, check out the link in the description. Got all that? Okay, now plug in your HomePod. You will hear this chime and see this pulsing white light at the top once your HomePod is ready for setup. Bring in your iOS device. Hold it next to your HomePod and this card will automatically pop up. You can also set up your HomePod using the Home app. After tapping setup, you'll be asked to pick which room your HomePod is going to live in. This will make it easier to give your HomePod verbal commands based on where it is. You can quickly change this and other settings in the Home app later on. Next, if you aren't an Apple Music subscriber, you could start your free three-month trial. If you already subscribe, your HomePod will transfer the settings automatically. Then you'll be asked to enable personal requests, so you can send messages, set reminders, add notes, and use supported third-party apps straight from your HomePod. These actions will only work when your HomePod and iOS device are both connected to the same Wi-Fi. After learning a little more about what you can do with Siri, you'll be asked to read and agree to the terms and conditions and transfer your iCloud and Wi-Fi settings. And that's HomePod, all set up and ready to go. For more helpful tips, subscribe to the Apple Support Channel and click another video to keep watching now.